So Lamborghini built only 150 of Lamborghini Countach's LP400s, but were those 150 LP400s built to be a drift car? So why did I build a Lamborghini Countach into a drift car? I thought, why not? <laughs> I literally thought, why not do it? Because it is just a bit of fun, a bit of interesting behavior when it comes to seeing if a Lamborghini Countach can actually handle a drift build, and it can. I actually tried it for the first time, making a setup for it, and it actually worked out to be pretty, pretty amazing. I'm probably not gonna get any good drift points, so I'm probably gonna have to go in third person for this, but yeah. But overall though, yeah man, this thing is absolutely like crazy. You don't even need to like, I don't think I've even fully upgraded this properly. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but all I know is this thing is absolutely just incredible to drive and just, it's actually impeccable. It just is impeccable. It's smooth, it's nice, it follows along well, thoroughly, kind of. <laughs> That's if you can obviously talk while driving, but no, nah, on the real though, yeah, this thing's sick, mate. This thing actually does nothing. All right, nice. And even goes into that fourth gear and still can drift in fourth gear. Obviously, around these turns, you're going to be a little bit careful on TC. Just hold it together. Second gear. Oh, my God. That was terrible. There we go. Nice. Back on it. Back on it. There we go. Oh, I'll take a 30,000 points, honestly. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. That was my first try as well. My first try, so yeah. So you are probably still wondering as to why I brought a Lamborghini Countach and made it into a drift car. Look, at the end of the day, I thought, why not do it? Why not give it a go? And plus as well, it is, in fact, a mid-wheel drive engine car. So it was going to bound to work anyway, regardless. So there's that. But yeah, my power so far, obviously, I'll tell you some of the stats right now. So it's 576 brake horsepower is what I'm running currently for this setup. And also as well, um, the weight-wise, I've, uh, I've, I'm pretty sure I left it standard, actually. So yes, 1,000... 65 kilograms alongside that we'll be talking about the setup right now and seeing what we obviously have and what we obviously got in order to make this car drift the way it's drifting in the video let me explain real quick what i've got for in the suspension setup so for body height adjustment we've got 105 at the front and 105 at the rear and anti-roll bar is now a six at the front and obviously a two at the rear the reason why is because i want the rear to obviously be kicking out so much and therefore we're gonna have to actually be working as hard enough to actually kick out the rear when it comes to drifting and etc vice versa basically so yeah damping ratio we've got a 29 at the front and obviously a 26 at the rear i low i actually wanted it a little bit less at the front so i can actually uh, adjust my will a little bit more in terms of like actually be able to turn but by the way as well i do play on controllers i actually play on like uh, steering wheel at all so this is all from controller so yeah um obviously got damping ratio expansion now we've got 42 at the front and obviously at rear i've got a 33 and then as well a natural frequency we have a 2.65 at the front and a 3.23 at the back as well so yeah just making sure the back of the rear of the car is obviously kicking out a lot more as well which obviously we'll move on to the lsd very very soon however though with a negative camber angle we've obviously got a 0.8 and a 0.2 I prefer just to not have too much camber. I don't know why. Most of my drift builds work like that. So there's that really. So I have nothing else to say from that really. But yeah. Toe angle is left standard. I've not touched that um, since I've had the car. So yeah. Now we're on to the LSD. Now the LSD is all fully maxed out to 60. This obviously helps me now to turn a lot more easier in there for as well. Just to allow, allow the car to kick out a lot more quicker. So yeah. And a lot more faster. And just all sorts basically. So yeah. Also as well. If you are curious by the way. What am I running for a transmission? Is a two. 60 as well so yeah there's that obviously because the car want to have a short gears a little bit but not too short just short enough so therefore I can snap the gear quite easily and obviously have a bit more control with the car when it comes to drifting and stuff as well so yeah but overall though this car was just literally for fun like, literally just for absolute just like a mess around and I thought you know what I actually want to just do a video on it because it was actually quite interesting and actually quite intriguing the fact that I actually managed to make this work so quickly so yeah and bear in mind guys I did actually do this like we were one shot like just instantly random setup here we go see what happens and it just worked so well and uh, yeah which by the way as well i do use sport tire tires but obviously this works with comfort tires as well so there's that so don't worry about those uh comfort hard tires that you guys play around with you can obviously use yourself with those as well so after scoring 34,000 drift points on tc in japan i thought why not give it a go without actually commentating while driving and drifting and here we are monkey z just flying through in third gear of course around the first corner technically speaking but yeah but obviously before the checkpoints of course and that is past checkpoints already drifting along 
thoroughly, thoroughly well. Now here comes the first corner, hitting it with the second gear. Maybe a little bit of a too early of a turn, too low of a speed. I reckon I could have hit that a little bit more quicker, but it is what it is. Now flying through into fourth gear, knocking it down to second gear, holding it there, using the handbrake of course, as well as the revs. And now look at that, look at the whole, the holding position of that was actually incredible. <laughs> that actually was sick. And now into the third turn of course, nicely, nicely done, nicely done. Now we're into the fourth gear of course, speeding along at 80 miles per hour or so. Now knock that down to second gear, having more control of the car around the, uh, Semi finale corner. I don't know. I don't know what the, the second last corner, let's say, but yeah, <laughs> just using as much of the road as possible for the drift points, of course, to try and beat my drift point time or drift points PB, shall I say. And now, obviously, of course, oh, we lost it. I reckon I could have held that well, you know. I messed up there, I messed up there, but it is what it is. And obviously, we hit a 35,000. I reckon I could have hit a 40, you know, if I just do everything a little bit more correctly, but. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, what's my overall opinion on the Lamborghini Countach? Well, I actually think it's not that bad, much of a bad car. I was actually expecting a lot worse. It actually just turns out to be actually a pretty sick car. It's very, very underrated, I'd say. That's the way I'd describe it. A very underrated car. Um, smoothly drifts. It drifts really well. Drifts really nicely. Good control as well at the same time. And it's really, really quick as well, especially as well with, like, what, 1,000 kilograms of, like, weight and obviously, what, 500 horsepowers. Like, it is no joke, my friend. It is no joke. But, yeah, definitely do give us a go have a bit of fun with it see if you like it and uh, yeah obviously as well I just want to bear in mind as well it is 1.25 million at the time obviously me recording this so there's that as well but was it worth it it definitely was worth it it was actually very fun very enjoyable and uh, yeah what a great experience and obviously what a random drift build to build but yeah so there you have it that's my overall opinion on that so yeah anyway guys that's me rounding off the video for today anyway so like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time yeah peace